Hello there. This is an astrological forecast for Virgo for December of 2011. And this also applies if you have a Virgo ascendant. So my Virgos, this is a very big month astrologically for all of us, mainly because we have an eclipse at 18 degrees Gemini, which is going to be falling in your 10th house of work. And we also have, for the first two weeks of the month, a Mercury retrograde still with us, and that's in your fourth house of home. So I'm anticipating that this is going to be a very important time for you, Virgos, with anything connected with home, career and family. So these areas are going to be really sharply contrasted, I think, in many ways. Your home, your security, your safety and at the same time, your place in the world, your life direction. An eclipse really causes you, because it has such a long effect, it lasts for six months, at least after it's happened. So it's going to be going on for a long time in your 10th house. You're going to be re-evaluating your work, your career. You may change career path. You may add to your responsibilities in your career. You may become more public, not that necessarily Virgos like to be terribly public, but you may become more public. Especially when a Virgo is an expert in an area, then you don't mind being public. When you really know what you're talking about and you've got the credentials, then Virgo is great. Um, but certainly your life direction and what you're doing and your, you know, whether you feel as though you're on track and maybe many of you don't feel as though you're on track, during this eclipse you will be pushed maybe uh, uncomfortably at times, so that you make some new decisions so that you can be happy in your work area. Um, so, uh, and as well with Mercury for the first two weeks in the fourth house, this is very much about thinking about your home, your family, uh, reflecting about whether you're really happy with your um, environment, where you're living, your surroundings. Maybe you need to make some changes. So reflect on it for the first two weeks and then start making the changes after the next two weeks of the month. Um, but certainly these are going to be areas, your home and your stability and your work areas are going to come under sharp focus for you for the next several months, I would imagine. Mars is still in your sign, Virgos. Take advantage of it. You can get an awful lot done with Mars in your sign, uh, particularly in your first house. It's time for being that bit more assertive, not aggressive, but assertive, and for being more confident and for doing things that make you feel confident. So if it is getting a degree or studying for something, or if you're not confident maybe in public speaking, maybe going to a Toastmasters group to uh, develop that ability, but doing what it takes to develop your confidence so that you can move forward more quickly. It's also a good month for anything physical, for doing anything that's physically active. It's a great month for it. Um, we've got Venus in your fifth house for the first couple of weeks of this month. So nice time for meeting somebody, for a romance. Um, also Lady Luck for a little bit of a flutter possibly, um, just towards uh, the, the first week or two of the month. But don't do much because Mercury's retrograde. We're juggling a lot of planets this month, so um, don't overdo it. But it could be quite fortunate for you. Um, and then Venus moves into your sixth house. So uh, could be something nice happening from work, maybe just a little end of year bonus coming to you in the workplace. We've got Saturn trine to Neptune all month. That's from your second to your sixth houses. So any kind of dreams that you've been having, dreams and wishes connected with finances and work could actually become a reality for you, for you this month. Saturn makes the dreams of Neptune into a reality. So that could happen for you financially and in your work area. Um, we have a sextile from the Sun to Venus for you from your fourth to your sixth houses. So that's the third week of the month. So that's something nice happening at work or maybe something nice happening at home. Somebody, uh, a nice thing happening with friends or colleagues. Um, it's also a good time for ironing out any differences that you might have had and also for firming up on any kind of loose uh, plans that you've got, a time to maybe firm up on some of those situations. Um, please be aware that with an eclipse, plans are going to have to change. Luckily, you're mutable. 
um, so you are able to make changes when you want to, when you set your mind to doing it. Uh, third week of the month we've also got a sextile from the Sun to Saturn, so very good for getting anything done around the home and anything done uh, financially and any kind of advice you need to take from somebody financially be a good time to do it during the third week of the month. So there you have it my Leos, uh, Virgos, oh terribly sorry my dear Virgos this Mercury retrograde is still affecting me you'll have to forgive me. Um, I wish you a great month and for those of you that might like to know what 2012 has in store for you you might want to have a reading or ask a question for $25 or even just download a free mini reading off my website or maybe treat somebody else to a reading as to what the new year holds for them or maybe buy a book or an audio. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Thank you very much for listening. Bye for now.